Hey, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Infinite Innovations Tech. Ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes at the forefront of artificial intelligence development? Join us on a deep dive into the recent OpenAI drama, where the firing and rehiring of the company's CEO, Sam Altman, has sparked intense debates about AI's responsible and ethical development. What happens when commercial forces clash with the mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits humanity? Hit that subscribe button and let's unravel the complexities of this AI saga together. OpenAI, responsible for the widely popular AI bot ChatGPT, has experienced a tumultuous week marked by significant changes. On November 17th, the company dismissed its charismatic CEO, Sam Altman. After five days of drama, OpenAI announced Altman's return and a comprehensive restructuring of the company's board. This incident has brought attention to an ongoing discussion about how commercial competition influences the development of AI systems and the urgency of deploying AI ethically and safely. Sarah Myers West, the managing director of the AI Now Institute, a policy research organization in New York City, expresses concern about the race's detrimental dominance impact, describing it as a race to the bottom that fosters toxic competition. Sam Altman, a prosperous investor and entrepreneur, played a pivotal role as a co-founder and the public figure of OpenAI. As the chief executive since 2019, he managed a substantial investment of around 13 billion US dollars from Microsoft. Following Altman's abrupt removal, Microsoft, a company utilizing OpenAI technology for its Bing search engine, extended an offer for him to lead a new advanced AI research team. Hundreds of company employees expressing their intent to follow Altman to Microsoft unless he was reinstated, influenced the decision for Altman to rejoin OpenAI. The OpenAI board, responsible for the recent removal of Altman, initially provided limited insight into the decision. They stated that they terminated Altman due to a lack of consistent honesty in his communications with the board. Subsequently, they clarified that the decision was unrelated to any form of malfeasance or matters pertaining to the company's financial, business safety, or security privacy practices. Despite the additional information, specific details regarding the circumstances leading to Altman's dismissal remained undisclosed. Speculation came regarding the firing of Altman, with some suggesting that it may be rooted in a reported division within OpenAI. This division exists between individuals who prioritize commercial growth and those who express discomfort with the rapid pace of development and its potential impact on the company's mission of ensuring that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. Perceived tension between these two perspectives could contribute to the leadership changes within OpenAI. OpenAI, headquartered in San Francisco, California, was initially established 2015 as a nonprofit organization. However, in 2019, it adopted an unconventional capped profit model. Under this model, the board is explicitly not answerable to shareholders or investors, including Microsoft. Some see the context behind Altman's dismissal as a clash between the nonprofit ethos and the capped profit model, a conflict of culture and objectives, according to Jathan Sadowski, a technology social scientist at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. Ilya Sutskever, OpenAI's chief scientist and a board member involved in Altman's removal, redirected his focus in July to Super Alignment, a four-year initiative aimed at ensuring that future superintelligent systems are aligned with the betterment of humanity. This shift in focus adds another layer to the ongoing dynamics within OpenAI. The dynamics between Altman and Sutskever regarding the development speed within OpenAI still need to be clarified. Despite Altman's reinstatement, Sutskever expressed regret for the consequences of his actions and joined employees in signing the letter that threatened to leave unless Altman returned. With Altman's return, OpenAI has undergone a board reshuffle. Sutskever and Helen Toner, researchers in AI governance and safety at Georgetown University's Center for Security and Emerging Technology in Washington, D.C., are no longer part of the board. New additions to the board include Brett Taylor, a member of the board of e-commerce platform Shopify and former leader of the software company Salesforce. According to Sadowski, OpenAI is likely moving away from its nonprofit roots, heading towards a more traditional profit-driven model characteristic of Silicon Valley tech companies. This shift raises questions about the future direction and priorities of the organization. 
OpenAI gained global recognition almost a year ago with the launch of ChatGPT, leveraging the company's GPT 3.5 large language model, LLM. This model relies on statistical correlations between words in a vast number of training sentences to generate coherent responses to prompts. This approach's broad range of capabilities, including aspects resembling logical reasoning, has both fascinated and raised concerns among scientists and the general public. While OpenAI is not the sole player in the pursuit of large language models, the introduction of ChatGPT likely spurred others into action. Google, for instance, unveiled its chatbot Bard in March 2023, coinciding with the release of an updated version of ChatGPT based on GPT-4. This trend of deploying language models raises concerns for Sarah Myers West, who fears that products are entering the market before there is a comprehensive understanding of their behavior, applications, and potential misuse. This premature introduction, she argues, could have detrimental effects on society. The competition in the conversational AI space is intensifying, with major players like Google and Amazon actively expanding their AI product offerings. Google has hinted at the development of more AI products, while Amazon has its own AI solution named Titan. In addition to these tech giants, smaller companies are entering the arena to compete with ChatGPT. Examples include Aleph Alpha, a German initiative, and Anthropic, a US-based company founded in 2021 by former OpenAI employees, which recently launched the chatbot Claude 2.1 on November 21st. Other frequently mentioned rivals in this domain include Stability AI and Cohere. Sarah Myers West highlights a notable trend among these startups. They heavily depend on the extensive and costly computing resources provided by just three major companies, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. This reliance potentially sets the stage for a race for dominance among these influential giants. Amidst this competition, safety concerns surrounding the development and deployment of conversational AI technologies remain a critical aspect that needs careful consideration and management. Sarah Myers West highlights a notable trend among these startups. They heavily depend on the extensive and costly computing resources provided by just three major companies. Computer scientist Jeffrey Hinton, a prominent figure in deep learning at the University of Toronto in Canada, expresses deep concerns about the rapid pace of AI development. Using the analogy of a competition to make a car go as fast as possible, he warns about the potential risks associated with prioritizing speed, stating, if you specify a competition to make a car go as fast as possible, the first thing you do is remove the brakes. Hinton, a pioneer in deep learning, stopped commenting on the events at OpenAI on November 17th. Established to achieve Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, OpenAI needs more certainty about AGI's feasibility. Sarah Myers West asserts the jury is still out on its possibility. However, some individuals, including Hinton, are becoming more optimistic about its potential realization. Hinton, who initially estimated that AGI would require 30, 50, or perhaps 100 years, now proposes achieving it within the next 5 to 20 years. Risks associated with AI involve its potential misuse by human actors, often for malicious purposes such as spreading misinformation, engaging in scams, or potentially developing new bioterrorism weapons. Additionally, since current AI systems operate by identifying patterns in existing data, they have a tendency to perpetuate historical biases and social injustices, according to Sarah Myers West. In the long term, Concerns arise about AI systems evolving into autonomous bad actors, gaining enough agency to influence global events negatively. Even if an AGI is designed with the intention, as per OpenAI's super alignment mission, to prioritize humanity's best interests, there's apprehension that it might make drastic decisions, such as determining that ending human existence would be preferable to continued suffering. While this may sound like science fiction, Jeffrey Hinton argues that the existential threat of an unstoppable AI going down a destructive path is a genuine concern. The United Kingdom hosted the November AI Safety Summit, demonstrating efforts to address these concerns. Around two dozen nations have agreed to collaborate on addressing the problem, although specific actions remain unclear. West emphasizes the importance of focusing on current AI threats rather than distant worries and advocates for the application of existing laws to regulate tech companies developing AI. 
The events at OpenAI, she believes, underscore the concentration of power held by a few well-funded companies with extensive computing resources, prompting a call for increased scrutiny by antitrust regulators. According to West, enforcing existing laws is a critical first step in managing the challenges posed by AI technologies. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views with us in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and remember to hit the bell icon to receive an update. Thanks for watching the video. See you at the next one.